and welcome. I'm Rayleigh and this is Nave News. Here in the heart of Nave's northern valleys, the town of Fabenham is home and workplace to many law-abiding people. But a surge in violence has left the region unstable for weeks. The town's guard are under constant assault by a tide of banditry and murder. I toured the region and spoke with its residents to understand the full picture. Fabenham is a town of peaceful players, here to log on, craft and relax inside a place of lawful safety. But then, they arrive. Bandits who come to kill and loot you, no words and no mercy. You run to the guards, but they have been bugged and broken. You look for player friends, but then the bandits have already left, fading away before the tide can turn. Many residents have had enough. I hate the fucking RPK guilds. You hate them? Yeah, I hate them. I mean, you know, they're scumrats. I uh, mean, not worried about them. They're very, very dog shit. To someone from Tindrum or Maduli, this kind of violence inside the city walls might seem unlikely. But the people of Fabinum, it's not just real. It's a constant occurrence. Intense. <laughs> Coming up, hitting us from the top and the front. Been guarding this passage for some time now. They keep getting through it. Not an hour goes by when they aren't attacking. <laughs> that frequently is it that Fabinum is under attack? Yes. It's either one group or another group. <laughs> This gate cannot, does not hold well. The east side's not safe. It's hard to get by. The people trying to get work on the grinder out there. Tough. <laughs> In Mortal Online, it's a crime to attack another player unless you're part of an official guild war. Players in Mortal can be put into two categories. Blue players who obey the law, only fighting in self-defense and staying welcome in lawful towns. And the infamous red players who fight at will, killing and looting whoever they please and becoming enemies to the town's AI citizens, guards who then fight them on sight and the priests who dead players need to respawn at. But then, where do red players go to respawn? There are red priests who resurrect anyone further from town on the outskirts of society. More than that, there is an entire red town in the Fabinum region a godless village known as Kranesh, where criminal players can spawn, craft and rest, stashing their loot in a secure bank and riding out to raid the surrounding valleys. As the nearest blue city, Favram is a frequent target for these outlaws. I attempted to visit Kranesh and interview these red players, but for now, they declined to comment. Do you have time for a chat? What, what, cha what type of chat? Oh. Stop simping, Coxie. <laughs> Back in Fabinum, where the AI guards were still bugged and frozen, I kept talking with the local blues to get their opinion on these raiders. Many responded how you'd expect. Could you tell me what you think about the recent invasion into Fabinum? Uh, me think that they're a bunch of dogs, you know? They are scum dogs that, uh, they're not very good. Me kill them naked and you see all this gear that I have now? Now I'm geared. So they bring me gear, me thank them. Ah, oh, they kill people's, they kill innocent people's bears who they've worked horses. so hard to tame. New citizens from Haven, they kill their horses for loot. They've ruined the land and they are so annoying, Rally, to hear their voices. But not everyone was upset with the invaders. This local blue was having a different opinion. It's, it's entertainment. I don't blame them for the guards not working. Or anything like that. I, I like that they come here and cause a cause a ruckus. Because otherwise, the game would be kind of boring if there weren't bad guys, right? If you had the opportunity to say anything to these others on the side of the war, what would you say to them? Those that siege Fabinum? Uh, I don't know. Good fights. While speaking with the people of Fabinum, I had another chance to hear an opposite perspective when I met this man from the guild Tofu. As one of the five major guilds in the Kranesh Red Alliance, Tofu has many Red members that often join in the killing, raiding Fabinum and its law-abiding players. But others in Tofu instead play blue characters, obeying the law and remaining friendly with Fabinum's gods, unlike many of their guildmates. The guild's dual nature allowed this man to give me a unique perspective. 
being a TOEFL member and being in Fabidum, do you often find yourself uh, being discriminated against, considering that you're in alliance with the Karnesh? Discriminate? Nah, I don't think so. What do you think about the recent attacks on Fabidum? Attacks? Yes, out of the, uh, the Eastern Gate. Oh, I, I don't know about it. You haven't heard about the murders in Fabidum or your guild being involved with that? You. Yeah, I know, but you're talking about the East Gate. We murder the people at the West Gate. How, how do you find living in Fabidum after you uh, participate in that? Do you have any troubles around or any guilt or anything? No, Fabidum is good. It's a lot of newbie to kill. Do you think if there was a bit more content in the game, you wouldn't have to kill the newbies? Ah, you made a point. Yes, we need more content. Otherwise, we just have to kill the newbie. What kind of content would you like to see? Mm. PvE or PvP or...? Just make more content to attract more newbie to get into the game and we can kill more newbie. <laughs> but... But you just said if there was more content, you wouldn't have to kill the newbies. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> With each interview of these players involved in the combat, the story was starting to become clear. These constant raids were less about the loot or the gains and more about something simpler. A lot of experienced and geared up PvPers looking around for something to do. Quite literally, sword and board. Fabidum isn't just a common target for the Reds of the Valley, it's one of the only ones. Though PvP territory control is meant to be coming in a future update, the combat content of Mortal Online is currently a slimmer offering. A number of PvE dungeons that most guilds have already beaten, dotted smaller camps that give an even more minor challenge, and chance brawls between hostile guilds that come rarely and offer little but bragging rights. For those idling murderers, the daily routine becomes simple. Visit the local leveling zone, the Fabidum graveyard, kill all the newbies trying to farm zombies there, cause trouble until the blues can organize a defense and force the reds to retreat. A regular pastime that keeps the reds entertained and in practice. Same as for the blue defenders that volunteer to fight back, but ultimately catching many new and innocent players in a brutal crossfire. People who'd rather hit a rock than a person. This restless raiding isn't just limited to Fabinum and its outskirts. Further west, the road to the city of Tindrum is another frequent target for abandoned activity. With innocent blues risking their lives and loot every time they leave the city walls, it didn't take long for me to catch someone in the act. No, no crime here. Standing on top of the loot bag he just murdered for, I asked this red player what he thought about the recent changes to the red priests. Mortals develop a star vault pushing the spawns for criminals further out from blue towns in an effort to mitigate the constant bloodshed. Does it make it uh, too hard to play as a PvP focused player without uh, having in all the... No, it's just boring. Like, if you die, it takes 15-20 minutes to get back. So like, It's quite annoying, but I, I guess... There needs to be something to stop, um, you know, people killing all the time, but... Is this your friend? Uh, no, I don't know him. Okay. Well, see ya. As this bandit began to leave, perhaps avoiding the return of his recent victim, something more threatening than a single red player arrived. A whole group of them. We are, we are bad guys. <laughs> are you a bad PvP guild? And we kill, we kill guys, uh, no, no female. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was at a... Look, look, this guy will die. <laughs> Unlike blues amongst blues, there's no safety for a red amongst other reds. But as this group tried to kill the solo red that I just interviewed before, this time he managed to escape into an unguarded part of the city. That wasn't very nice of him. Already used to fighting and surviving without friends or nearby spawn points, many red players are better suited for dealing with these sudden attacks. It's a skill set that many blues are sadly less experienced with. When I talk to these reds about their PvP playstyle, 
The motivation seemed to be the same as those around Fair, but No, just for fun. Like people attack her to another. But on further questioning, these players grew tired of my talk. Stop bullshitting. Yeah. They're not here for go home? Peace. They go home? I can send you home. Send you home. A threat in a euphemism. Saying they'll send me back to my home priest to respawn. I tried to reason with them. Where they go home? I would have preferred not to, but uh... You know, I can't really stop you, but... I would ask not to. <laughs> with no real gear or value to my loot, I'd become another kill for sport. Struck down not for coin or for land, but as a means to starve off the boredom of mortals lacking launch. Another in-game murder count for players who in truth have stopped counting a long time ago. Back in Fabinum. Not every PvP agrees with the appeal. I personally am pretty against, I think, killing outright new players who are in, like, vendor armor and completely lost. It's not very... I mean, there's no real reason, right? You don't gain anything, and it's not enjoyable. Mm -hmm. At least to, to me. No matter what you think of it, it seems clear that this wave of newbie ganking violence is here to stay. One of the more reliable doses of combat that Mortals players can currently have, and a regular pastime of the game's many raids that will likely continue until the game's developer Star Vault can give them something better to do. Oh, until then, at least this Fabinum Blue doesn't seem to mind. Any thoughts on the Fabinum Guards not working? What? Do you have any opinion on the Fabinum Guards not working? What's not working? Well, the guards. People are getting murdered in town, You haven't you heard? Is that what's going on? I've seen the guards not react properly. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's a good thing that it hasn't bothered you then. Uh -uh. You've managed to escape the, the murder in the streets. What? I said, I said, you've been, it's good you've been able to not be murdered in the streets. Oh yeah, they can't kill me. I'm too, I'm too strong. I see. Well, I hope you put that strength to good use to helping people here in Fabinum. Of course. I don't, I don't. Great. Thank you. Thank you for your time. You too. Reporting from Fabinum and across Maryland, this has been Rayleigh of Nave News. Have you been affected by the violence in Fabinum? Got a comment or some information to add? Leave a comment down below or add me on Discord to talk in person. If you liked this video, please help me out by clicking like, sharing with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more news. Coming up soon, a report on the Guilds of Knave, Mortal's political landscape and some shocking accusations. Until then, thanks for watching.